The Campi Flegrei supervolcano in Italy may only need a light shake to erupt. However, this does not mean a catastrophic eruption is imminent, although researchers from the Vesuvius Observatory argue that an eruption is still a realistic possibility. Europe's resurgent Campi Flegrei volcano experienced the largest seismic waves to shake southern Italy. The seismic swarm began around 8 p.m. local time, 2 p.m. eastern time, including a strong earthquake recorded at a depth of 1.6 miles below the surface. The swarm lasted nearly five hours, sparking panic among residents in nearby towns. Campi Flegre is a 12 kilometers wide caldera of the remains of a collapsed volcanic cone that stretches from the area west of Naples and the famous Mount Vesuvius to the nearby bay where the entire village of Pozzuoli is built on top of it 4 meters high. Researchers now believe the caldera is getting closer to collapsing. This is thanks to the latest analysis of Campi Flegrei activity which uses a model based on the physics of rock fragments. This is the first time this method has been applied to study active volcanoes in real time, said lead researcher Professor Christopher Kilburn from University College London. Campi Flegrei is getting closer to destruction. However, this does not mean that an eruption is guaranteed to occur. These cracks may open gaps in the Earth's crust, but the magma still needs to be pushed upwards at the right location for an eruption to occur. We must now adjust procedures to estimate the possibility of opening new pathways for magma or gas to reach the surface. Campi Flegre last erupted in 1538. In the months before the explosion, the ground swelling and rising 66 feet, then dropping again as the volcano released its stored magma. The land beneath Pozzuoli, a town located near the center of the caldera, has been rising over the past 20 years. The irregular seismicity pattern began to occur about 10 years ago and has continued to increase since then. A similar pattern of swelling and seismic activity, known as a Brady seismic crisis, occurred between 1982 and 1984. The ground surface in the Campi Flegrei area rose at a rate of 3.5 inches per month, triggering more than 1,300 earthquakes per month. Most of them are too small to feel, but they are starting to get bigger which means each uplift will expand the Earth's crust. Each crisis begins where the previous one ended. The ground is currently heaving at a rate of 0.8 inches per month and there has been no change in this rate since the seismic waves occurred last week. About 450 earthquakes have been recorded in the past month, compared with 1,252 in April 2024 most of which were magnitudes less than one. This research is the first study to predict active volcanic eruptions. This marks a step change in our goal to improve eruption forecasting worldwide. A steady increase in seismic activity has been recorded in the Campi Flegre region over the past few years, reaching levels not seen since the 1980s. More than 600 small earthquakes were recorded at this location in April alone. This ongoing activity is the cause of the substantial weakening detected in the volcano structure. This means that the planet is likely to break apart even though the pressure it causes is less than during a crisis. Said Dr. Nicola Alessandro Pino, senior researcher at the Vesuvius Observatory. The study by Kilburn and colleagues detected increased fluid movement beneath the surface of Campi Flegrei. 
The liquid can be magma or volcanic gas which flows into the solid rock above it, causing small earthquakes. The worry among volcanologists is that even a small earthquake could weaken the volcano's structure and cause an eruption preceded by small tremors. We can't be sure what will happen, said Dr. Stefano Carlino of the Vesuvius Observatory.